Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question special positions in a binary matrix. Okay, so let me explain with this matrix. So the phrase special position implies that only one element in each row and each column has the value 1. So it seems appropriate to check all rows and columns for this condition. So first of all, uh, let's check row direction. So like this, like this, and like this. And uh, checking each row individually, if the sum of elements in a row is 1, so there is a potential for that row to have a special position. So that's because if, sum, if the sum is 0, it means uh, there are no position with value of 1. And uh, if the sum is 2, so it implies there are two positions with a value of 1 which also does not not qualify as a special position. So in this case, sum of each row should be so 1, 1, 1, right? So now uh, all rows has a possibility to have a, like a special position. Okay, next, let's check column direction. So first of all, we need to know index of one position in each row. So index, so this row, index 0, right? And the uh, second row is index 2, right? And uh, this row is index 0. Then, actually, we do the same thing. So calculate the sum of each row. And in this case, index 0 and index 2. And uh, if sum of columns is 1, so that means we find the one of special positions. So that's because we iterate the matrix in column direction based on index of possible position. So in this case, column 0 and uh, column 2. So uh, in the end, um, so sum of column index 0, so I mean here, so sum is 2, right? And uh, sum of column index 2 here, so sum is 1, right? So that's why we know that only this position is uh, like a special position because uh, so when we check the uh, row, so total is 1. And uh, when we check the column direction, so total is 1. Yeah, so that is the basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, um, initialize like a special and uh, start with zero, and then uh, start looping for row in matrix. And uh, so if sum of row equal one. So in that case, uh, we need to check um, like a column direction. So first of all, um, get the column index. So call index equal so row dot index and uh, one and then uh, so special plus equal so uh, we create a get column sum function and uh, passing the call index and if this is one so we add plus one to special and uh, let's create a get column sum Okay, here so def get column sum so this is a call index and then just return sum of uh, that uh, column index so row uh, column index for row in uh, matrix and then at last, we return a uh, special. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of m multiply n plus m. So first, m is uh, uh, so this for loop. So number of row. And uh, n is a number of column here. And the uh, second m is, so we iterate through a number of row here again. So that's why uh, time complexity is uh, order of m multiply n plus m. And the space complexity is O1. I think I don't use an extra data structure. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm of my solution code.
Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.